हाईलाइट चैनल ऑफ द रनवीर शो दिस इज टी आर एस क्लिप्स वॉट वुड यू लाइक द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू डू फॉर योर फील्ड ऑफ वर्क विच इज रिलेटेड टू स्पिरिचुअल टूरिज्म Okay, that's a whole topic in itself. <laughs> so I I I find spiritual tourism as an oxymoron. Okay, ah, uh, so there is pilgrimage and there is tourism. Both of them, uh, on the face of it, looks like the same thing because it involves travel, it involves going to another place, living there, coming back. But the purposes are diametrically opposite. In a tirtha, when you go. if you follow the scriptures or the guidance you are going to discover yourself you are going to recharge yourself you are going to uh, uh advance spiritually and you, so you need to follow certain things and what are those certain things you follow some vratas you follow brahmacharya you follow uh, satvik diets you you practice mauna which is silence you practice a uh, lot of things you know depending on the tirtha you 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 kind of go inwards you prepare your body mind and soul to visit that place to exactly. maximize what you can gain exactly. from that place exactly exactly and that involves what uh, in sanskrit we would say uh, indriya nigraha which means uh, taking your senses inwards and not engaging them right basically basically you are controlling your senses to stay inwards stay focused and then travel okay uh couple of pilgrimages that still follow it is sabri mala yatra where the people take 45 days uh, vrat to visit uh, vari pilgrimage uh, in maharashtra they follow the same thing i don't know if rest of them still follow what do we do in tourism we let go of our senses we engage in heightened experiences of our senses you eat a lot you experiment with eating you experiment with experiences you let go of your senses so they are diametrically opposite in purpose mm. so for me spiritual tourism is either converting your sacred spots into tourist spots and telling people that you can go and engage in uh, uh, sensory experiences there or you know you are kind of taking away the energy of those sacred spots mm. you are uh limiting their energy you're limiting what you can gain from it yes yes mm. so to me i think uh they need to be two different places can you party and meditate at the same place even in your home you don't do that you have a place to meditate and you have a place you don't typically party in that corner of your house so how can the spiritually charged places be a party place you know so to to me there are two different things so i really want government to recognize that pilgrims needs are different they don't need five star hotels in a pilgrimage place because you are yes you need comfortable clean living places but you are not there to do swimming you are not there to do to engage in culinary delights you are not there you, you, there's a purpose to your spiritual growth so i hope we don't convert all our sacred spots and at some point in time whole of india used to be a sacred geography now we have you know small pockets which are sacred i hope we maintain the sanctity of them okay i personally feel it's only going to happen through media and conversations like this if these narratives are out there it will reach the government of india yes so these are playlists made especially for you we've tailor made learning experiences for you the other clips